Hey Virgo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Uh, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. So I do want to throw that out there. Um, also, too, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you'd like to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. I love reading what you write and really interacting with you on that one-on-one -on -one basis. So who is uh, Virgo dealing with romantically? Can you give me some information about who Virgo is dealing with romantically? Who is Virgo dealing with romantically right now? For the end of the month. Ooh, that just shot the heck out. You guys can possibly be dealing with, you guys have uh, the sun, okay, um, which definitely can be, like I said, a Leo. Um, also, too, here's what's interesting, and you know what, maybe I'll, maybe I'll share that after I'm done pulling the rest, of, the rest of the cards, so let me just do that so I don't get stuck on this one card and never move forward. How does Virgo feel about their person romantically? How does Virgo feel about this person romantically? Okay. Beautiful. All gifted. Oh, oh my God. I'm here for this. How does um, Virgo, uh, or what is the current issue or situation with Virgo and their person of interest? What's the current issue or situation for Virgo and their person of interest? Okay. Two of Pentacles, possibly dealing with a Capricorn or somebody that has a Capricorn in Jupiter. What is an obstacle or a block for these two romantically? An obstacle or a block for these two romantically? Okay. The Two of Cups. All right. There's Cancer Venus. And what's the best potential outcome here for Virgo and their person of interest? Ooh. Okay. So you guys have two. It's the Hermit with the Two of Wands. Oh, actually, there's three cards. Hold on. I'm going to put it back because I want... What's the best potential outcome here for Virgo and their person of interest romantically? Oh. Ooh. Judgment. Okay. All right. I feel like we're kind of going in the right direction here. So first things first, you also can be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer or even a Libra. Um... I feel like, let me just say this, I feel like the sun is here for a reason. I feel like the person you're dealing with almost has like, they may even be a manager of some sort because they're very strong and successful and they have a level of material vibration. So they have a lot of, of wealth to them. And this could be wealth in many ways, right? Wealth doesn't necessarily have to be financial, but it also can be something to the extent of, you know, having a lot of, uh, you know, good things happen to them. Like this person attracts abundance. Um, also too, they're very ambitious. They're business minded, very practical. Uh, you know, they do have a level of like an authoritative, like kind of figure, but they're successful, courageous, accomplished and organized. At times, they can be a little bit materialistic or, or even forceful with getting their um, opinion out, right? However, they this your person takes commitment very, very strongly when it comes because it, it's, it's a level of responsibility and bravery, right? And they treat relationships almost like a business deal, kind of, but they offer a level of stable or stability and security, okay? So um, how do I explain this? Sometimes, like, they may make you feel like they have more going on than you, but I feel like that's just their way of, you know, doing it. You may have met this per person at a party or an event or somewhere, um, you know, in the field, okay, in the field of whatever, whatever you do, um, or just out there. Maybe you met them at, and, and you were having a drink or something, um, but it's really dope how this person is actually coming across. Okay, now, as far as the sun is concerned, and because these cards are new, I'm going to read a little bit from the book, so I just want to throw that out there just in case anyone wants to shred me. Um, first of all, I do think that your person has very masculine energy, okay? Um, however, I do want to say this. Um, Whatever you were going through prior um, up until you've met this person, this person is really taking you out of the dark and kind of put you to the light. They're very gentle and warming and, you know, 
it's 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 very interesting also too i feel like because you guys are the hermit you know you guys do like to save yourself i feel like this person really tries to pull you out of your hibernation mode it's also time to you know um this person wants you to make time for them and wants you to make time to go out there and have a level of lightness and humor right it's not so heavy it's also to remembering that you know this person may come across as somebody who's always like genuinely happy and they may not see that there are other negative aspects to you know like everything is very happy go lucky lucky i can't talk this morning and you know that they have a sense where you know it, it may be almost like in an immature sense. Let me see if I can pull this up a little bit higher. Hopefully no one sees my boobs. Sorry. All right. Hopefully you guys can see the cards. I apologize if you can't. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. All right. Give me more information on Virgo's person of interest, please. Romantically. Woo. Justice. You also, they may be a lawyer or an attorney. They also could be uh, somebody that's definitely in the limelight. This is somebody who's very well balanced between heart and head. There's somebody who makes the right decision. Even if it's a hard one, they still make that choice, okay? They may live at a distance from you, possibly, because you do have the chariot. They can be a cancer, okay? But this person is very victorious in whatever they do. There is a level of balance here, and I do feel like this person definitely completes you. How you feel about them is the all gifted. Give me more information here. Obviously, for you, there is a huge transformation that's occurred over time, right? To the point where you're re really at the point where you're ready to offer yourself to them completely. Um, more information. Why? Why is Virgo ready? Because the sun. Because honestly, I feel like this person has definitely shed a level of light on your life that just makes things better. It makes things right. You know what I mean? Like this person genuinely gives you a sense of purpose and makes you very happy, extremely happy. You even can be, I mean, it can also be a Capricorn. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but that's kind of how I feel. Um, you may even be getting pregnant or you may be pregnant by this person, Virgo. Okay, Queen of Wands, you're very attracted to them. They're very ambitious. You know, uh, that's Leo, or I'm sorry, that's Aries as well as Cancer, but it'd probably be like Cancer Moon, Cancer Venus, Cancer Mercury. This person gives you, it's like they take action on the stability that they give you. So this person isn't somebody that says, hey, I love you, and then it doesn't back it up, right? This person says, I love you, and then they show up with things. They are somebody that's very giving, very caring. You know, they like to go out on dates. They like to do things. And it's really kind of drawing you out of your shell. And it's giving you the ability to kind of go out and have a reunion and hang out and, you know, have a really good time with them. And I feel like that's something that was probably missing in the past. Give me more information here, please. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. You may have just purchased a house or may have be just moved into a house with this person. It's like right now, Virgo, like everything is kind of exactly where it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like you really do feel like you have everything. It's something that you were very patient about. It's something that you, you know, even though it's something that had to transform, like maybe at first you weren't sure, but 100%, it's like you and this person are definitely building a future towards, you, you know, building a future with one another. And I do feel like you're very connected. There's the devil. Okay, Capricorn, like I said. Um, you know, let me ask, what's the energy of the devil? Because sometimes, you know, the devil isn't a bad thing. Energy of the devil. What's the energy of the devil, please? Okay, page of wands. There's a very strong sexual connection here. Okay, it's also a superficial one sometimes because I think that you're just really attracted to them. But I do want to say this, you know, anytime the devil is here, that's like raw, intimate emotions. Like that's taking all logic out of it and just acting purely off of primal instincts. And I'm not going to lie. I'm here for that shit. I'm like, yes, come through. Okay, so your current situation or issue 
is you have the two of pentacles. So this is definitely, um, this can be a money situation where you're going back and forth or your partner's going back and forth. But this is Capricorn and Jupiter. It's trying to figure out what exactly to do in order to grow, right? What's best? It's also juggling money. Maybe finances are a little bit tough right now. But it's the thing is, it's like you're still very solid. But there is a time period, right? Why? What's causing this two of pentacles? Something is in limbo causing the two of pentacles. Somebody is trying to figure out. Let's see. The high priestess. That's funny because I wanted to come out and I put that shit back. Something that's not being expressed. What's not being expressed here with this high priestess? What's not being expressed here with the high priestess? What's being hidden? The ace of swords. Okay. A level of clarity or the truth. What? What? What's the truth here? Come on. You guys know I'm going to ask. What the hell is the truth? What's the truth here? What's the truth here? Five of wands. Okay. Some type of fighting, right? That's Leo and Saturn. This could be somebody that's being egotistical and you having to kind of combat it. This can also be you going back and forth with yourself with what's the right thing to do, you know, as far as work is concerned. And maybe that's putting a level of strain on your relationship. How does Virgo perceive this? How does Virgo perceive um, the situation? How does Virgo perceive the situation? Prince of Cups. Okay, so I feel like for you, it's still a place where, you know, you're willing to offer a level of love and have that communication, right? Possibly with a Pisces or a Gemini. Um, how does Virgo's partner perceive uh, this situation? How does Virgo's partner or uh, romantic interest perceive this situation? One more time. How does Virgo, Virgo, and you may be talking to somebody else. How does Virgo's partner perceive, one more time, one more time, okay, please spirit, one more time. How does Virgo's partner perceive the situation? What is their perception of the situation? Strength, they may be very defensive right now. Why? Because of the Eight of Cups. That's interesting. That's Saturn in um, Pisces. Something just isn't working. And it's like, for them, it's like, listen, we made a mistake. Let, let's go back and let's try to, re like, retrace our steps. You know, for them, you know, they, they want to make sure that there's a level of certainty before completely settling down. I think... His partner feel about. It's like they want to wait. Like you guys are in limbo with something. Justice. Maybe you guys are getting married or you're deciding whether or not you want to get married. Maybe Virgo, you're dealing with somebody who already is married or you may be married and your partner is just waiting for things to kind of unfold. As I said that, the seven of wands, that's definitely moon and Aquarius. You know, um, somebody is being very detached right now. And it's like, it, 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 I don't know, like they're hiding what, what's being hidden. The Ace of Cups. They're hiding their true emotions. How would Virgo feel about this Ace of Cups? Temperance. I mean, I don't think you'd necessarily be happy about it. I think that there'd be a little bit of like... How, what would Virgo be waiting for? The Empress. Maybe you guys are going back and forth on whether or not you guys want to have kids. I mean, that could definitely be it. You know, whether or not you both are ready or at that point in your life where you want to expand. Maybe your partner is worried about you know, what it looks like if you do have kids. Like, what happens? How does your life change? Where do you go from here? How do you move on? How do you move forward, right? Like, they have a lot of questions, I feel like. Because it's interesting, for the block of the obstacle, it's the two of cups. And that's a lot of emotions here with the six of cups. 
So it may be about kids. Maybe somebody has kids with somebody else. Maybe you're a Virgo. Maybe you're ready to have kids and settle down where your partner's like, no, nah, I'm cool with the dogs and the cats. I don't want to have to bother about it. But I do want to say this. It's like, you know, you feel like, um, or somebody feels, whether it's you or your partner, that having kids provides a level of stability and security. It's also about a level of nurturing. Somebody here is a nurturer, and they definitely want to tap into that aspect. It's something that they've been waiting for their entire life. And as I said that, the world is here. So, again, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, or um, Scorpio energy. It's like, to them, it's like, here you go. What do you want to do with it? It's all right here for you. You know what I mean? How do you want to go about this? What's the next steps, right? That's kind of how I feel. It's also a conclusion or like a, or like a high achievement, right? It's, it's breaking through to a new stage of a journey, right? And I feel like that's why this is important. It's like, okay, listen, we've done good here. Now where are we going? Now what's our next step? Are we going to have a family? Are we going to, if you are at the point where you're like, listen, I'm not having any more kids. I don't want kids. It's like, okay, are we merging things together? Like, what are we doing here? What's the next step in our relationship? Because right now, everything else is like, cool, right? Why is, why is, uh, or how, how does Virgo feel about this? Look, the world. It's like you're ready for the completion. You're ready for the next step of your journey with this person. And you can be dealing with a Gemini in Aries or another Virgo or possibly a Leo. Okay? It's like you feel so strongly about this person. Like you just want it to hurry up and get to that point. Okay? Now, for your outcome, you do have judgment. So judgment can be here for multiple reasons, right? This can actually be a, a child. This can actually be a multitude of things. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of your patience and support. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Later. Holy hell, I need more coffee. Peace.